Born to Run, 2007, by Michael Morpurgo is a children's novel that employs a straightforward writing style to narrate the tale of a remarkable dog's three distinct lives. The story commences with Patrick's daily journey to school, tracing along a nearby canal. Patrick, feeling unhappy and isolated, lacks popularity among both his teachers and peers. As he walks, he hears an unusual commotion, squeals, and yelps emanating from the canal. Spotting a floating sack, Patrick senses that something is amiss and bravely plunges into the water to retrieve it. He swims towards the sack, fighting against the current, and manages to bring it ashore. Upon opening the sack, Patrick experiences a mix of surprise, horror, and delight as he discovers several greyhound puppies trapped inside. It becomes evident that someone heartlessly attempted to drown the helpless pups. Patrick is baffled by such cruelty. Against his parents' initial disapproval, Patrick brings the puppies home. His parents are hesitant to let him keep any of them, insisting that the puppies be given up for adoption. However, Patrick develops a special bond with the smallest and weakest pup from the litter, whom he lovingly names Best Mate. He fervently appeals to his parents to allow him to keep Best Mate, and eventually, they relent. Patrick and Best Mate become inseparable, forming a deep and cherished friendship. Responsible and caring, Patrick ensures that Best Mate gets his daily exercise by taking him to the park, where the Greyhound can freely sprint and run to his heart's content. Normally, Best Mate eagerly dashes around the park off his leash. But one day, a change occurs when the dog seems reluctant to run. He remains close to Patrick until encouraged to engage in his usual park sprint. Gradually, Best Mate relents and resumes running. Unfortunately, during this time, Craig, an unscrupulous trainer who organizes dog races, observes Best Mate's exceptional abilities and views him as a potential champion. When Craig's van arrives, his daughter, Becky, hurries down and witnesses Best Mate being forcibly dragged inside, restrained by a chain. Determined, she takes charge of the newly captured dog, introducing him to the other canines that Craig has similarly kidnapped. Craig's mistreatment of the dogs under his care becomes increasingly evident. Among them, Becky's favorite dog, Alfie, consistently emerges victorious in races. Becky finds solace in Alfie's victories, because whenever one of Craig's dogs starts to lose, they mysteriously vanish. Although her parents assure her that nothing harmful befalls the underperforming dogs, Becky remains skeptical. She decides to rename Best Mate as Bright Eyes. Bright Eyes and Alfie forge a friendship and form an unbeatable racing duo, consistently securing the first and second positions in races. Tragedy strikes when Alfie collapses during a race, rendering him unable to compete ever again. Becky, sensing foul play, takes bright eyes and clandestinely follows Craig as he departs with Alfie that night. To her horror, she witnesses Craig callously kill Alfie since the dog holds no further value to him. Devastated and frightened, Becky flees, bringing bright eyes along. Ill-prepared for life on the streets, they encounter a homeless man and his formidable dog, leading to a confrontation where Becky is injured. In a valiant act of defense, Bright Eyes protects Becky from potential harm. As a result, Becky is whisked away by an ambulance, leaving Bright Eyes all alone. Outside the hospital, Bright Eyes catches the attention of a man named Joe, who kindly feeds him baked potatoes. Gradually, Bright Eyes starts to frequent Joe's presence, seeking food and companionship, until he eventually becomes a part of Joe's life. Joe sells his house and purchases a boat, and Bright Eyes, now renamed Paddywhack, sets sail with him. Joe becomes involved in an endeavor to rescue a nursing home from closure, a place where his late wife spent her final days. One fateful night, the nursing home catches fire, and Paddywhack courageously saves one of the residents, dragging them to safety. Paddywhack's heroic act garners widespread recognition, and the ensuing story generates significant attention, ultimately leading to the salvation of the nursing home. One day, as Joe takes Paddywhack to the park, the Greyhound instinctively recognizes it as the very park where Patrick used to bring him. Racing towards their familiar spot, Paddywhack joyfully reunites with his old best friend, Patrick. However, Paddywhack's elation quickly fades as he realizes that Patrick is accompanied by a new Greyhound, a bittersweet revelation. As Paddywhack observes Patrick and the new Greyhound enjoying their time together, a twinge of sadness envelopes him. 
He reminisces about the joyful moments he shared with Patrick and the bond they once had. Paddywhack also misses Becky, longing for the companionship they forged during their challenging journey. However, his melancholy dissipates as Joe approaches to bring him back home. Paddywhack finds solace in Joe's presence, knowing that they will embark on countless joyful years together. With Joe by his side, Paddywhack's worries and hardships become a thing of the past. A sense of contentment fills his heart as he realizes that he has found a true friend and companion in Joe, marking the beginning of a new chapter filled with happiness and love. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.